Well, I'm out on another ride today, and I figured I'd start my video right here. Today was my dad's birthday, and this is the house he grew up in. And since he's the one that got me started riding these motorcycles when I, so early I don't even remember learning to ride, I figured I'd start this video right here. So yeah, this is the house he grew up in. And this was his swimming pool. Right here. Let's try it right now because it's irrigation season's over. That area right there was called the steps. And I'm sure he spent a lot of time swimming in this canal. So I figured I'd start the video right here. Anyway, maybe he's on this ride with me. <laughs> We're in the town of Waterford, California. So happy birthday, Dad. This is a little campground down here along the Tuolumne River. Just north of the Turlock Lake. Pretty nice place where you can park right next to the river. There's some picnic benches and fire pits. I can't believe somebody's just letting this place go like they are, but it seems too nice to just let it go. Lots of campsites down here. Not that many places where you can just camp along alongside of a river this close to Modesto too I mean it's just outside Modesto it takes me all of 20 minutes to get out here from my house the river's closed for fishing right now because of the salmon run which I respect that it's closed until January 1st just for a few months, to let the salmon run without anybody catching them, <laughs> disturbing them. They even raise the water level so that they can make it upstream. Maybe we'll go up to uh, a couple of the bridges up by LaGrange and see if we can see some salmon. It's really beautiful down here. I've come down here a few times. I've never seen anybody. I'm surprised more people don't come down here. What are y'all doing on a Sunday afternoon? Y'all sitting by a TV watching football? I'm not really into all that. But what I am into is hanging out by a river. All alone, no people. This is what I'm into. That's yeah, really nice down here. People came down with their dog. 
kind of nice. Yeah, this is a spot above the river, an old bridge. I love these old bridges. I'm glad they don't tear them down. They just build a new bridge and they leave it for people to still walk on. You're not supposed to drive on it. But I do a lot of things I'm not supposed to do. <laughs> I ain't heard nothing. I'm trying to see if there's any salmon. I haven't spotted any yet. I don't mean they're not in there. Through here, they just kind of keep traveling until you get to where the rapids are. You'll see them working their way upstream. We'll go up a little farther and see if we can catch them with the camera. I'm up here at LaGrange Bridge looking for some salmon. These guys seen some when they first got up here. I haven't seen any yet. A lot of bikes out today. I'm not the only one that don't give a fuck about football. <laughs> they said a group of three salmon come through and another two turned around and went back downstream a bit these things right here are what are detrimental to salmon the pike minnows but i call them squall fish a lot of people call them that they suck all the salmon eggs up so the salmon kind of have to fight them off and they will but the salmon ended up dying, so they can only fight them off for so long. Yeah, this is the old LaGrange Bridge. Well, I'm not the only one that comes down here and isn't hurting anything. <laughs> Just come out and hang out and try to see if you can see some salmon on their way up. They don't go much farther than right here. Just a little bit past this bridge is where they where they spawn. Some even go below it. They come all the way from the ocean. And this is where they end up. Right up there, those rapids. There's a few more rapids after that, and that's about as far as the salmon go. <laughs> Friendly game of quarters. <laughs> Closest to the line wins the money. <laughs> and bikers are crazy, huh?
Well, here's a little store up here in LaGrange. Little country market. This town's kind of a biker uh, destination. Especially on the weekends. California. I don't know why everybody's hating on California. I think you just don't understand. But chickens. Chickens crossing the road. Hurry up. Lagrange Cemetery. This time of year in this part of California, the weather just gets so nice, you gotta laugh. It just keeps getting nicer. <laughs> I think about my friends in other parts of the the country that are getting rain or it's cold. I'm still in short sleeves. <laughs> We're in the 70s. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's just beautiful. And we got all these places that you can just come to and hang out. This old schoolhouse is from the 1800s. For the most part, you can just explore it. Nobody's gonna say anything. It's here for us to enjoy. Look, you need water? Is there some water? Water's still free. Here's the inside of a schoolhouse from the 1800s. Pretty much the way they left it.
I doubt if anyone that ever went to school here is still alive. But they probably had to write their ABCs on that chalkboard. I wonder how many kids rang that bell for school in the morning. Bell still there. Preserved in time. I can hear a band down at the the saloon. <laughs> they have a great backyard. This park's awesome. You could stay here. Nobody would say anything. If you just wanted to come up and put a tent, have a barbecue, cook you some steaks. I would suggest show up about this time at night and right before dark, set up your tent or your hammock between the trees and take off in the morning. No one would ever say anything. It's a LaGrange, California. go explore the cemetery tomorrow's Halloween so this would be a cool place to hang out there's the town down there there's the bar I guess it's not a band it's Dave and Ellen Co <laughs> Here's the old basketball court for the school. Or playground area, or whatever they needed to do. I like to just come up here and just imagine the stories. You know there's stories. There's the outhouse. Will you ever see Little House on the Prairie? Laura Ingalls. Here's George Ingalls. Cordelia Ingalls. Agnes. Molenkopf, born in 1886, 10 years older than my grandma. But she died in 1930. There's Kate Ingalls, 1894, 1888, Esky. Nothing wrong with hanging out in a cemetery. They probably like the company. I know I would. It's 
some really old ones back here. This is a historic area. The old Crimea house. There's a restaurant, bar rooms, stables located on the main road. But the part that I, I know about this area is the Great Tongs War it was fought here by 2100 Chinese. And they had a huge war around here. There's some old ruins over here. Back in the 1800s, there was a lot of Chinese labor. And uh, I guess they had a war amongst themselves. You know, here's some foundations, a little stable, but you can look it up, this is the Keystone District, but Red Hills Road, I just thought it was kind of interesting, been through here many times. <laughs> Built in 1853 by James W. Carrick, having come over the Immigrant Trail to Keystone District with nine covered wagons. This place was originally housed a restaurant, bar rooms, and stable located on the main road from San Joaquin and the Bay Region into the Southern Mine Sector. And chief station for freight on september 26 1856 the great tongs war fought near by by 2100 chinese burned down on october 8 1949 the last historic landmark in the keystone district oh well, it's been a good ride we we'll start heading down back to the valley. The sun's still high in the sky. Eh, it'll be dark when I get home. May stop in Knights Ferry. I'm getting hungry. If you ever come out here, this is Red Hills Road. It heads on up to Chinese Camp. It's a fun road. This is the 50s Roadhouse, again. <laughs> it's a good stop. It's a fun place. Look at this car. That's a beautiful car. If you've never been here, this is a great place. They got great food, 
the owner is awesome. Very bike friendly. If you've ever seen the movie Another 48 Hours, there was a biker scene here where they shot Nick Nolte through the windows. If you've ever seen the movie American Graffiti, The Pharaohs, that was one of the bike clubs in the movie. Look at that. It's pretty cool. We call this Knight's Ferry, but it's actually Buena Vista. Pulled out my foot. I'm on my hand. Because I thought. Oh, no, no, no. That's easy. 